What's up everybody? This is Scott Johnson with Pit Realty Group here. And today we're gonna talk about caveat emptor. Yes, I've been studying my Latin. What do you think? Caveat emptor, right? Um, actually, I, I only speak English. My Spanish is like horrible. But anyway, so that wasn't even Spanish. That was, oh Lord, moving forward. So caveat emptor is may the buyer beware. That's what it stands for. So what does that mean for you as a seller? Okay, well, when it comes to selling your house in Greenville, North Carolina, you have to make certain disclosures. And there's a disclosure agreement that we'll talk about in a future video where you can make representations and say, okay, the roof is in good, pers is in good condition. Check mark, I represent that. Uh, let's, the AC is in working condition. Check mark. I represent that. But there's this other little box right next to it that says no representation. What does that mean? Well, you as a seller are not required to disclose certain things. All right? You you can or represent certain things. All right? You can choose not to represent them. All right, now it's important to know that if you choose not to represent them, but the roof is caving in, or there's an obvious issue, just remember, like I said in our other video, your real estate agent has to tell the other person that, okay? But regardless, caveat emptor means that even if you check no representation throughout the entire list, right, that buyer has to do their due diligence and see if that property is something they want to buy to have it inspected, to have termites checked out, or you know any type of invasive insects, right? to check for radon. All right, because radon's a big thing in North Carolina. Now, it only is a real issue when you get up to, I think it's 4.0 picocuries. Try, try saying that five times fast, fast. picocurie, picocurie. But, <clears throat> so they, it's their responsibility to have those checks done and make sure that this property is something they want to buy. And if they do all their checks, and they do their due diligence, and they end up buying the property, and then something's wrong. Well, if it was a misrepresentation or omission on one of the real estate agent's parts, then it'll fall back on them. But if everything is honky-dory, everything was disclosed, and the buyer all of a sudden finds out, oh crap, I need to spend a thousand, two thousand, ten thousand dollars on fixing this, it's buyer beware, bro. Kind of a pain in the butt, I understand. And you know, um, you can always go back and investigate it and see, okay, was this a material fact, which make sure you check out our video on material facts, all right? And if it was, you can kind of go from there with going to the real estate commission, all that good stuff. But ultimately, it is buyer beware. You've been given the amount of time needed, the due diligence period, to check everything out. You should have had all of the inspections done, AC, regular full out inspection, you know, having the entire underside of the property checked, all right, checking the banisters, the rafters, all of that. You should have had that done. But if you didn't, sorry guys. So it's important to realize that caveat emptor or buyer beware is a real thing. When you are buying a house in Greenville, North Carolina, do your homework. Do not rely on the, I mean, the real estate agent is here to be a resource for you, right? And we're here to, we have, they have a fiduciary responsibility to make sure they're honest with you in all aspects of the home buying process and to make sure that, and that you're making the best decision. But things fall through the cracks. And if you just say, okay, I'm gonna buy this house, and then sit there and go, when's closing again? It may not turn out well. It may turn out great. I don't know. But you always want to make sure that you are doing your due diligence, hiring the right help to go out there. Ask your real estate agent for any referrals on inspectors or you know, uh, you know, um, soil engineers if you have to have a soil test done. Uh, you know, even if uh, you're looking at putting a property there, you need to have a perk test done to make sure that it's actually go you're going to be able to put a septic out in that field. All right. Buyer beware. Do your due diligence. 
don't mess around with this. And if you have any questions, make sure that you reach out with your buyer's agent, hopefully an exclusive buyer's agent, because if you don't have an exclusive buyer's agent and you put a property down, you just watch the other video <laughs> on buyer on agency. Because if you do not have an agreement with that buyer's agent and you put in an offer, that buyer's agent officially works for the seller now and has to tell them everything that you said. All right, so just another mini thing on that, but we have another video on it. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I hope that helps you understand caveat emptor. May the buyer beware. So stay ahead of yourself. Do your due diligence. If you have any questions, let us know. Again, this is Scott Johnson, Pitt Realty Group. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, and uh, you know, make, be sure to subscribe so you are the first, one of the first people to get these awesome videos as they come out. We're here to help you understand the home buying and selling process. So feel free to reach out anytime. Also, if you know someone who would like this video, go ahead and share it because knowledge is power, especially in today's market. Thanks so much, y'all, and I'll talk to you soon.